Well, what do we have here? Nanotechnology and Pepsi Cola. Microsoft and Coca Cola sign a $1.1 billion five year AI deal. Now, I bet you're wondering oh, this is probably fake news. I'm just finding out about it myself. And like most other people who talked about this post, I'm going to show you the facts and when they started putting nanotech in soda. Yeah. Thankfully, I've been drinking soda in years. Let's get into it. Now, the above information is from an article of PubMed.ncbi.gov published in 2017. Seven years ago. Just a few years before, you know, them shots. This study reports the detection of the presence of fluorescent MPs about five nanometers. I believe that's what the five mm stands for. In two of the most popular beverages, Coca-Cola, Coke, and Pepsi-Cola, Pepsi. The MPs contain H, C, and O, three elements with a tunable emission and with a quantum yield of 3.3 and 4.3% for Coke and Pepsi, respectively. And you see right below, fluorescent nanoparticles present in Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola. I didn't know this and I'm not gonna act like I did. So I'm covering it now because things resurface when people don't pay attention. So I like TikTok. Now there's a reason why I highlighted this part of the article. The biodistribution study in major organs indicated that the nanoparticles were easily accumulated in the digestive tract, and they were able to cross the blood-brain barrier and dispersed in the brain. You know, all this time I thought certain things well, pretty much all things can go past the blood-brain barrier. Mmm. But your government loves you. Bill Gates loves you. Politicians love you. Yeah, leave what you think in the comments below. Peace and one love.